Hello everybody, my name is Wilder, and I have a question. Do you miss Animal Crossing? I've been getting back into New Horizons lately, and I've been loving it. It's fun to wake up and look forward to the new items in the shops, and the new conversations to be had with your villagers. Yeah, I'm playing the game now, and I got a lot of the feeling back, but it's undeniable that Animal Crossing is just different when it's not in season, if you know what I mean. The hype around New Horizons was massive. And thanks to that hype, along with everyone being stuck inside during its release, New Horizons was a household name, practically. Everyone and their mothers were playing Animal Crossing. No, seriously, the amount of moms that got into the series, or even into video games at all thanks to New Horizons during the lockdown, was amazing. It was great, there were people playing the game and talking about it everywhere you looked. We were finding exploits, I mean, I've sold a handful of crowns in my time. We were having little parties, watching shooting stars together, going to each other's towns to check shops, turnip prices. I love the feeling I get when everybody is into Animal Crossing. It's magical, and honestly I don't think there are many, if any, games that can create the type of magic and wonder that Animal Crossing does in those times. So then I guess my next question is, if I miss it so much, yet I'm still enjoying the game itself for what it is, is it too soon for a new Animal Crossing game? First of all, what do you think? I want to know what you think, because like I said, Animal Crossing has that magical community type feel to it for me. Is it the same way for you? Do you feel as though when you go back to New Horizons that you love it and it's still a great, fun game, you just are missing something? Are you ready for a new Animal Crossing game? More importantly though, do you think we need one yet? Because I mean, I can sit here all day and reminisce about that new Animal Crossing game feel all I want, but whether everyone is ready for a new game or not is another matter. There's also the conversation of workload for developers. Does Nintendo think that it's been long enough? They know just as much as we do that Animal Crossing is a cash cow. And Animal Crossing Pocket Camp is still going strong. They must be itching to put that IP to use again, though. I don't know, I guess at the very least, I can see early development stages for a new game. I will say that New Leaf and New Horizons had a huge gap in between them. New Leaf came out in 2013, while New Horizons came out in 2020. That's a seven year gap. Granted, there was a huge DLC update that was released for New Leaf, the Welcome Amiibo update, that added the campsite along with a bunch of Amiibo support, which was super fun. I always loved how the villagers basically brought a mini version of their house to your town. That came out in 2016 though, three years after the release of New Leaf itself. Also, I'm using North American release dates here, just to be clear. I know that the release schedule for a series usually means nothing, but I still think it's worth taking a look at. If nothing else, we can compare the DLC release timings. Welcome Amiibo came out roughly three years after New Leaf, whereas New Horizons DLC, Happy Home Paradise, came out a year after New Horizons. Now the fact that New Horizons DLC came out so soon after the game's release compared to the previous game is probably completely due to the market and how standards around DLC have changed. I mean, even the fact that the New Horizons DLC was paid DLC when the New Leaf DLC was free, that's also worth noting. Regardless, I've been realizing that it hasn't actually been all that long since New Horizons. I think I just really miss Animal Crossing and the feeling I get when everyone's playing. Another thing I wanted to note is that whether it's too soon or not for another entry, remember that Nintendo ended up delaying New Horizons so that their developers didn't experience burnout. That was awesome, and I hope they keep doing that. I hope, I hope they keep that mindset moving forward. Because as much as I miss it and would love it to see a new project, I really don't want it to come at the expense of anyone's health. Also, I said project there, because what about a spin-off game? Would you take another spin-off Animal Crossing entry? I know they've been hit or miss for quite a few people. Technically, according to the Animal Crossing fandom wiki, the first spin-off was Animal Crossing Plaza, which was kind of a Miiverse type thing, but for Animal Crossing? I had no idea this existed, but it was on the Wii U, until it was discontinued a year after its release. But then there was Amiibo Festival, which was like a Mario Party board game type thing? I don't know, I've never actually played that or seen much of it either, so... I don't actually know how it works, but I always see such mixed reactions to this game being brought up. So definitely let me know what you think about it, if you've played it, or you've seen enough of it to know. Because I have no idea. On the 3DS after that though was Happy Home Designer, which I know was super popular with quite a few people. Again, I've never actually played it either, even though I own it. You know, I'm sitting here talking about the atmosphere of Animal Crossing release season, but I'm also talking about missing Animal Crossing. Maybe I should play a spin-off or two for a minute. Like, yeah, I'm talking about the release season and their old spin-offs, but still, maybe I should play a spin-off or two if I miss Animal Crossing that much. Anyway, yeah, Happy Home Designer was really loved for the most part, from what I've heard, and it must have been popular enough because it heavily inspired the DLC that came out for New Horizons. It even has some of the same characters and mechanics brought over. Last but not least, the mobile game Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. I actually played a lot of this game when it came out. I loved it so much. 
I fell off it after a while. I think it was during the first butterfly event. If I remember correctly, that thing sucked when it came out. But regardless, the mobile game itself was fantastic. I have no idea how good it is today though. I don't know if the monetization got too crazy or not, but again, let me know if you play Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. But Pocket Camp released in 2017 and it's still going strong today. I would love to say, oh, it's been a while. I would so take another spin-off, but uh, Maybe I should play the ones I actually, you know, own. Maybe I should actually play some spin-offs before I ask for another one. God, that's such a problem these days, isn't it? Ugh, I'm I'm the problem. I'm part of the problem. I need to play these spin-offs. I need to play them. I own one. I guess I'm just curious to see if anyone else feels the same way that I do when it comes to Animal Crossing. There's a comfort there whenever I go back to it. No matter if it's the first or most recent game in the series, it makes me feel nice and cozy, and I have fun every time I play Animal Crossing. But I can't deny, again, that I miss that atmosphere so much. I know a lot of people might not actually, just for the fact that Animal Crossing fans can be kind of crazy sometimes. Remember Brewster? Remember the fights that were like, We need Brewster, he should have been in the game from the start, why is he not here, he's iconic to the series. And there were people that were like, He won't make the game better, this game is still really bad at its core, Brewster is not needed, he's been saved from this game. I just love sitting back when people argue on the internet like that. It's interesting to watch. But yeah, we're talking about Animal Crossing. No fighting. Only making animal friends. <laughs> but anyway. Let me know if you feel the same way as me about Animal Crossing, and definitely let me know what your favorite Animal Crossing game and Animal Crossing spinoff is, because that's going to be it from me today. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and play Animal Crossing!